Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial, hopefully not my last, about making, you know, some firebending action, or just a cool, you know, fire in the hand. Are you kidding me? Sorry about that, that was my mom, she's just like, hey, how was your day? It was good, mom, that's good. Okay, back to this. So, this is a picture we are creating today, so, kind of fire. I did really bad color correction on this. I apologize for my horrible color correction. But this is what we're making today. Flame coming out of the hand. Looks super cool. So what you'll need is a camera. Take a picture of your hand. Make sure that the background doesn't match your hand. Kind of like this. So here you can totally tell where the edges are. And that'll help a lot in making this photo. So that you can select it. Um, you'll also need a picture of fire I just got this off Google images uh, I just looked up flame uh, I think black background too or you just can click in the left uh, the black here I'll just show you that'll be easy flame images then you go black oh there it is right there page two click it I just got a huge image because that'll help uh, and then I just dragged it on to my desktop, and here we are. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. Let's start. Drag this hand into Photoshop. Okay. There we go. And it should be loading. There it is. Now what you're going to want to do is get the quick selection tool. Boom. Uh, double click the background layer so that it's not locked. Then we're going to right click and select refine edge then we're gonna make the radius a little um, a little lower that looks better already smoothing it out a little more I really like uh, refine edges because like if there's hair in the quick selection then it just makes it a lot better if you know what I'm saying I know that didn't what it what what is going on it's really blurry I guess that's okay. Shift edge. There we go. Oh, right there. Good. Contrast. Little contrast. Right about there. Okay. So the numbers I have is 10, 15, 2, 31, and minus 5. Yours could be completely different or it could be very similar. And I press OK. And now I go into, I just search it up in help. That's how I usually do it because I always forget where it is. So I just look up layer via copy there it is there it is it's in layer new and layer via copy or command j when you have the thing selected so and then i just click that there you go hide the background layer new layer then make sure you have black as your main color in your color swatch and then get the bucket tool click booyah okay now we need to add the flame. So I have two pictures of flames. I have this one and this one. I like this one a little more because it's a little less, you know, crazy. But if you like this one better, I am totally going to let you like that one better. I just got two flames so that I could add a second one if needed, if you know what I mean. Okay. Should be loading. Oh, it's the background. That's why. Probably about that big. move it to the top then we're gonna select screen as the what is this called the layer thing I don't know just over there screen sorry I don't really know the names of things I just know what they're called that doesn't make sense at all I just know the name that what I'm just gonna stop talking okay so I'm just gonna duplicate this hand layer right here command J and then I am going to, s the reason I do that is so it's a fail safe in case I mess up on this next step, which is very likely. So what I'm going to do is get the burn tool. And what this does is just darkens the pixels that are already there. It doesn't add pixels like a paint, a paintbrush does. So I'm just going to darken this a little more. Make it a little smaller for the edges. And I'm just getting rid of the highlights and making it look like uh, my hands a little bit burned you know because I'm playing with fire not safe 
That ain't safe. Okay. Go over there. Boom. Boom. Just get rid of some of this highlight. Probably best, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Just drag. I guess I could just drag rather than clicking. Okay. Now I'm going to make it look like it got burned a little bit. You know. That's why they call it the burn tool. Am I right? Am I right? No. Wow. That black. Right there is really strong. <sighs> Should have noticed that before. What the? See, that's why we make a fail safe, kids. In case you mess up like that. So I'm just going to skip ahead to when I'm done with this. Because you know how to do that, hopefully. Okay. I'm back now. I'm back now from editing this picture. Adding a little burn, you know. You know how that is. You know. That. Okay, that was a weird sound that came out of my mouth. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to select the brush tool, and again, make sure it's selected on black. So I'm just going to drag it across, whoa, that's slow, drag it across the bottom, go up to opacity, change it to about like 20 to 30-ish, around there, maybe a little, maybe 40, 40, mm, mm, 35. Then I'm going to make a new layer, right there. Boom, drag it more towards the bottom, and then I'm going to go com Controller Command T, bring this down a little more. Okay, and then I'm going to select the opacity and make it go to about, I don't know, 54-ish? The only problem with that is the one below it looks like white trash, so I'm going to make this a little more. There, that looks good. So it looks like it's coming out of the darkness, so with my burned looking effect I'm going to let's see where is that tool where are you little tool come on there you well, nope there you go make it a little burned over here so it kinda blends in a little more you know get around the edges good the better you get around the edges the better it'll look better I can't talk today or ever you know, people are like, I can't talk today. I'm like, I can't talk ever. Just kidding. I can talk goodly. Okay, that looks good. Darken this up a little more. I am going to create a new, um, what is this called? Wow. What is this called? Uh, something. I'm going to click this little circle, black and white circle, yin yang, without the little dots. Anyways, that's a color address adjustment layer, something like that. So I'm going to go curves, and this is going to be the color correction. So it ma whoops, matches the flames that I'm doing. So I'm going to make it a little darker. No, there you go. That looks superb. Red, add some red, obviously. Maybe, oh, boom. No, just kidding. That looks pretty cool right there, actually. Not going to lie. Hmm. Maybe what you could do if you want to be adventurous, what you could do is add this and then. Hmm. No. What you could do is you could add this adjust the adjustment layer. That's what it's called. Anyway, add this adjustment layer and then color in black right here. Let's see if I can do it pretty quick. Color in black. So you see how that is. So like around the edges of the fire, it's actually red. You know. And then add another adjustment layer. Whoops. That's just the normal layer. <laughs> levels? Not levels. I am smoking something. Actually, I'm not. Smoking is bad. Very bad. And now I'm just going to select the the bucket tool. Make it black. Um, and then I'm going to get a brush tool and make it white where I want this to be. And then I'm going to get, um, let's see, oh, I'm going to get the red to be a little higher here. Eh, that's, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that looks okay, but what I'm going to do is hide those, both those layers, make a new one. Sorry, I just wasted your time there. I feel really bad. I'm going to... 
let's redo that, shall we? Let's make add some more red. Add a little bit of red. See, that just... It's almost like you need to take away some red. Maybe that's it. So, maybe I need to take away other colors rather than adding colors. Right there looks pretty good. See, it's just my nude adjustments that make it look either really good. Oh, there we go. Get some orange in there because that's the color of the flame. Ooh, right about there, I think. I think right there. Good. Okay, now I'm going to get go back over here and select the dodge tool. Make it semi-big. And just around this area, kind of make it lighter. Ooh, I have an idea. Since I did this layer, I guess I could oops, um, select, make this more red down here. You know? Or the explorer right here you know what should i do okay uh take away some mm, looks like somebody nope don't do that looks like he has green grass stain so i guess that looks pretty good you can uh adjust the adjustment layer a little more maybe add some more burn looking effects um but that's just the basic idea and if you really want to be creative you can leave any time now i'm just having fun now I'm just having fun. You can add some text behind it. Fire! What the? Okay. Command A. Make you that big? No. That big? No. Slide it. Boom! 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 Around there. Around there. Kind of. What the? That's weird. Would you agree that that looks really weird right there? Like the flames going behind it. That's kind of cool looking, but weird looking. Anyway, I'll put it over here more. Fire. Yeah. Not going to lie. You can leave any time now. I'm just having fun. Rex Bold. This is a free font. Just look up Rex and um, you'll find some pretty, pretty sweet. Find actually this exact font. I kind of like Rex Light because it's light, you know. Excuse me, you know. Oh, took away the bold over here. That looks beautiful. Oh, that is hot. Get it? Hot. <laughs> it's funny because I'm hot. Just kidding. I'm really not. I'm a poet and I didn't even realize it. Okay, let's make you all one. <laughs> not that. Well, all one. Thing, you know what I mean? Okay, fire. That actually looks pretty bad. But if you want to be awesome, you could go stroke. Make it kind of thin color. Make it kind of orangish. <laughs> that looks horrible. Ooh. Ooh. Check out that fire. Boom. Boom. Right about there. I feel like I need a more flowy font, you know what I mean? Color overlay. Oh. Oh. Hey. Kind of make it darker. Eh. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Um. Here. You ready for this? You ready? Boom. There you go. That's a good use of text. Make this in front of everything. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And you are awesome if you watch through this whole thing. Because you got to see me mess around with Rex Light and make fire and then a subscribe sign. You know, who else does that? Only me. <laughs> uh, shameless self-promotion. What's that from? If you can name that, I'll give you 10 bonus points. Anyways... Um, thanks for watching and have a good evening or morning or middle of the day or night. I'm sorry I wasted so much of your time. Um, yeah, thanks. Bye.